Do you ever wonder why pasta is such an irresistible dish and why it is found in homes and restaurants all over the world? Pasta is more than just a food. It's a delicious treat that appeals to people everywhere. Be it a quick weekday dinner or a special dish in high-end restaurants, pasta is all over the place, pleasing almost everyone's tastes, from children to adults. But have you ever wondered where it came from? and how it spread across the globe to eventually become one of the world's most popular foods? Today, we are going to plunge into a fascinating gastronomic adventure as we explore pasta's incredible history, from its unassuming origins to becoming one of the most beloved foods. Pasta has a backstory as varied as a magnificent truffled linguine with seafood and as tasty as grandma's unbeatable bolognese noodles. If you are a pasta enthusiast like me, don't miss this delicious and surprising journey. This story will make your mouth water. When people think of pasta, they often associate it with Italian cuisine, but its history extends far beyond Italy and Europe. The origins of pasta date back to very ancient times. Archaeological findings in China show that pasta dates back more than 4,000 years. These first forms of pasta, unlike the durum wheat variants we know today, were made from corn and other grains native to Asia. This strongly indicates that pasta, in its many forms, was a dietary staple in Asia long before it became popular in the West. In the Mediterranean world, there are references to foods like pasta in the diet of the ancient Greeks and Romans. These were probably simpler versions, made of mashed grains blended with water and boiled, much like the lasagna we know today. Back in the Middle Ages, Pasta had a key role in the cuisine of the Islamic world, a region that stretched from the Iberian Peninsula to Southeast Asia. The popularization of pasta in this wide area was significantly influenced by the trade routes and conquests of the Islamic peoples, leading not only to the trading of goods, but also to the spread of culinary ideas and traditions. Pasta in the Islamic world was known by different names and took many forms, one of the most famous is Itria, a dry pasta resembling modern spaghetti. This kind featured frequently in Arab medical and cooking texts, standing out not only as a tasty food, but also for its nutritional qualities. The regional variations in the Islamic world not only mirrored local preferences and ingredients, but also displayed the skill of cooks in adapting and turning pasta into singular dishes. This spreading and adaptation of pasta in the Islamic world paved the way for its ultimate introduction to Europe, where it would become a central element in the cuisine of numerous countries. Trading routes played a role in introducing pasta to Europe. When Arab and Persian traders sailed across the Mediterranean, they brought with them assorted products, including pasta, to European markets. Italian port cities such as Venice and Genoa served as vital nodes on these trade routes, helping to introduce it to the local cuisine. As well as trade, conquests and population shifts also influenced the spread of pasta. Throughout the expansion of the Arab Empire, many cooking techniques and foods, including pasta, were introduced to new territories. The Arab foothold on the Iberian Peninsula was key to familiarizing Europeans with pasta and other gastronomic novelties. Pasta was initially a luxury delicacy in Europe, mainly consumed by the nobility and wealthy classes. But as time went by, it became more accessible and started to be adopted by different social strata. Its long-term storage capacity without spoiling made it a practical food, particularly for the working classes. With its climate and soil suited to growing durum wheat, Italy emerged as an important pasta production hotbed. Not only did Italian cities adopt it as a staple food, but they also went on to develop their own varieties and production techniques, laying the groundwork for the intimate connection that exists today between pasta and Italian cuisine. Italy during this period was not one unified country as we know it today, but a patchwork of city-states and kingdoms. This geographical and political split led to regional differences in pasta production and consumption. Every region began to develop its own version, with shapes and preparation methods that mirrored the local ingredients and culinary traditions. For instance, in northern Italy, with its colder climate and livestock farming, 
pasta was often served with hearty meat and cream sauces, whereas in the South, with its warmer climate and proximity to the sea, sauces based on tomatoes, vegetables, and seafood became increasingly popular. A milestone in Italian pasta history was the development of drying techniques. This allowed pasta to be stored for extended periods, making it easier to transport and trade. Seaside towns, especially in regions such as Sicily and Naples, became hubs for the production and export of pasta, spreading its popularity throughout Europe. Medieval Italian documents also started to document a variety of pasta recipes, indicating its integration into everyday life and culture. Celebrations and banquets often featured elaborate pasta dishes, proving its status not only as a staple food, but also as a token of celebration and finesse. Marco Polo's connection with introducing pasta to Italy gathered momentum mainly in the 19th and early 20th centuries through cultural publications and representations, but it lacks backing in primary historical sources. His famous book, Il Million, also known as The Travels of Marco Polo, depicts many wonders and aspects of life in Asia, including the cuisine. However, there is no straightforward assertion that he brought pasta from China to Italy. But there are historical records and references to pasta in Italy that date back to before Marco Polo's travels. Historical documents and pasta recipes can be traced back to Italian sources that predate his journey to Asia. Between the Renaissance and the 18th century, pasta became an essential food in Europe, finding its home both on the nobleman's table and in the working class's kitchens. This period was notable for a significant diversification in cuisine, with pasta being cooked in increasingly elaborate ways, adding ingredients such as fine cheeses, lavish sauces, and a range of different meats. This innovation was often seen in the cookbooks of the time, which presented pasta in sophisticated and varied dishes. Pasta was a display of sophistication and affluence in social and cultural circles, especially during Renaissance banquets and parties. It was also present on the tables of monasteries, praised for its simplicity and sustenance. Especially in Italy, pasta production saw substantial growth, with Naples and Sicily emerging as important centers. The pasta made in these regions began to be exported throughout Europe, earning acclaim for its premium quality. Canteens emerged in Italy, particularly from the 16th to the 17th century, signaling a significant transition in the way pasta was produced and consumed. These canteens, also known as Bottega di Vermicellia, were basically establishments or restaurants specialized in making and selling pasta. The word vermicellia stems from vermicelli, a type of thin pasta, implying that these stores were mainly geared to producing long, thin pasta. The rise in popularity of these canteens can be attributed to several factors. For one thing, it reflected the ever-growing demand for pasta, which had already established itself as a staple of the Italian diet. Also, these establishments' capacity to make pasta on a larger scale meant that more people had access to this food, which had previously been more restricted due to its labor-intensive handmade production. Despite this, the boom in pasta production also resulted in conflicts. There were quarrels between canteen owners and bakers, as both competed for the same primary resources, especially wheat flour. These clashes reached a point where the authorities had to intervene, regulating wheat production to make sure there was enough supply for both sectors. Cities like Naples, which in the 18th century was a leader in producing and consuming pasta, experienced an exponential growth in the number of canteens, reflecting the popularity and importance of pasta in local culture and diet. These canteens' rise also reflected urban development and population growth, with pasta meeting the needs of an increasingly large and urban demographic. The 19th century was a time of significant transformation for pasta, punctuated by technological breakthroughs that revolutionized its production and consumption. Industrial pasta making reached a turning point with pasta machines, moving away from purely artisanal manufacturing and into the era of industrial processing. Until the 19th century, pasta was predominantly handmade, a task that required skill, time, and effort. 
Modern technologies came along with the onset of the Industrial Revolution, making it possible to mechanize pasta production. These developments not only sped up the manufacturing process, but also allowed for a more homogeneous consistency and quality in the final product. The first pasta machines appeared in Italy. These were designed to mix the dough, roll it, and cut it into different shapes, dramatically increasing the process's efficiency. Mechanization also made it possible to experiment with new pasta shapes and sizes, resulting in a wider variety. Industrialization of pasta making had a significant impact on this food's trade and availability. Pasta started to be mass-produced, making it more accessible and cheaper for the average consumer. This not only broadened the market for pasta, but also cemented its position as a staple food in many European households, and eventually, throughout the world. The huge influx of Italian immigrants to the United States, Brazil, Argentina, and other Latin American countries carried with them a unique culinary tradition, in which pasta had a significant role to play. As these immigrants established in new homes, they attempted to emulate the flavors of their native land, and pasta was a familiar and comforting element in this. As pasta grew in popularity, it started to be adapted to the taste and ingredients available in America. Already popular in southern Italian cuisine, tomato sauce found a foothold in American renditions of pasta dishes, with changes that included meats and other local ingredients. Such tailored dishes, like spaghetti with meatballs, became Italian-American culinary landmarks. As the First World War broke out, many countries were faced with the daunting task of feeding their populations and troops. Because of its long shelf life, ease of transportation and preparation, and its high nutritional value, pasta became an ideal choice. Both governments and the military encouraged its consumption, and it frequently appeared as a ration item for soldiers and civilians. Pasta's simplicity also allowed it to be paired with a range of ingredients, many of which were restricted during the rationing season. The Second World War witnessed an even larger increase in dependence on foods such as pasta. Many countries instituted stricter rationing systems during this period, and pasta continued to be a staple food. Its making was seen as essential, and pasta factories in numerous countries were working at full capacity to meet demand. Pasta was sometimes fortified with additional vitamins and minerals to boost its nutritional value. The global scenario significantly changed following the Second World War, and pasta emerged as one of the top winners becoming a staple food in many areas of the world that it had previously not reached. Globalization during the 20th century led to a surge in cultural exchanges, solidifying the popularity of pasta far beyond its European and Asian roots. From its primitive origins in ancient China and the Mediterranean to becoming a staple in global cuisine, pasta has shown an amazing ability to adapt and innovate. Its evolution reflects cultural, social, and technological shifts throughout history. Pasta is not just a food, but a symbol of human ingenuity and the connection between diverse cultures. As we go forward, pasta keeps reinventing itself, holding out the promise of a future brimming with new flavors, shapes, and cooking possibilities. I hope you've enjoyed this first video in our new series on the history behind the things we eat. Please share your suggestions for foods whose origins you'd like to see told on the channel in the comments, and see you in the next video.